On her travels, Anna Whiteley is always on the lookout for advice from the world's best players and coaches to help improve her game and hopefully yours too. Wow! Today she's getting some help from Simon Holmes to get back on the short stuff. We're down here on the third hole at Centurion Golf Club where I'm joined by our resident coach, Simon Holmes. Simon, thank you as always. Now, I've hooked my drive into the woods. It's not a great position to be in. There are many an option and quite frankly, I don't know what to do. I know you've caddied for many women. You've caddied in the Solheim. You know what the thing is to do here. So please tell us. Okay, so let me let me talk you through it. So I think now we're in a bad position here and it's all about uh, fi figuring out the options. So the first option you might think of is you know, you're probably still 200 yards away from the green here, Anna, and we've got this tree which overhangs. Yeah. You might be tempted to sort of pull out your three wood. That's absolutely what Phil Mickelson would do. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be option number one. And we would say, you know what, all the trees up the left there, if it doesn't cut properly or you don't catch it correctly, you're in even more trouble. So we're yeah. going to get out of this situation. And if we take a five, we take a five. Okay? Yeah. Your next option is to come out sideways here, but I don't think that helps you because of the angle of the dog leg, right? You're still going to need, if that's your, your second shot's out there, you still can't get on the green. So what we're going to do is look at something that's going sort of up by the 150 marker there, mm -hmm. right? We take our medicine, we're going to hit a club that doesn't go through the fairway and goes under this tree and you're going to play your third shot. If you look at where the pin is there on the front right, yeah. right, that's going to help you with the angle. Right. Okay. Okay. So uh, now we've made our decision. That's a massive thing. You've got to make the decision and then stay committed to it. So if you sort of, you talk yourself through it sensibly and you go, oh, you know what? I'll try the three wood. That's when it all goes really <laughs> terribly wrong. So Correct. I am going to recommend you, uh, we're going to go with a little seven iron. Okay. okay. So if you make a couple of practice swings there. Yeah. In these sorts of situations, on the pine needles, you need a really precise hit on the ball, okay? Yeah. So again, let's have the ball a little bit further back in the stance. Okay. Weight staying a little bit more on that left foot, mm -hmm. okay? So once it's on that left foot, stays there the whole way through the swing. And this is basically just shoulders and arms. Yeah. Okay, like a three-quarter shot, shoulders and arms, and uh, find that target up there. Because we really don't want to take a divot of any variety. We, we really want to clip we? the ball. Okay. There we go. Nice so that's super. Tip. Yeah, that's super. So yeah. I think one, you've executed it really well. So, but you've made the right decision. Uh -huh. Okay. So the decision's absolutely crucial. And then once you've made that decision, you've got to stick to it. Putting doubts in and sort of trying to pick up another club, go through your process, stay close to that. Um, that was a great execution. And now, you know, we've got, what, 140 yards yeah. front pin with a great angle. I, I think we can make a four here. Oh, I like it. This is, obviously, this is the, the more responsible way and this is the right choice to make. But if you're in a match play situation and you've got to be aggressive, would you ever recommend an amateur brought out that three wood and went for it or this is this no, is the way I, to No, I go? think your, your best way of making a four is to get that next shot up and down. I think with a three wood, you have got less than a one in hundred shot. I mean, you have to get it low under this tree with 40 yards of cut over those bunkers. Yeah. I don't think that's happening. So I would still recommend our best chance of making a four is to do what you've done, play it up to the green. If we make our putt, great. If not, we make a five, we don't do worse than that. Okay, thank you, Simon. A very wise choice with the seven iron. Would definitely recommend it. If you find yourself in the trees with no idea what club to take, go for this. <laughs> 